folks, we are back. Hector Diaz and Joshua here. And and I want to talk about real quickly about what happened with the anarchists earlier. And that I was knew you were gonna bring this up, and honestly, the last fight, I was hoping he would knock that fat out, but you know he didn't. So. Well, you know that Slash is part of the anarchists, as is Antonio Extremo and AJ Cool and. Yeah. John Pryor and Rick Acid. Well, anyway, let's go to our next match here. As we have here, Team Deutschland. As you see there. The German. Yes. Hey, hey, Hector, you know what's the difference between... Uh, what's the favorite thing like? Why do... How did the Germans conquer uh, Poland so fast? I don't know. Ask Hitler. Well, they marched in backwards, and the Polish thought they were leaving. Lame. Thanks. <laughs> I don't know how you keep doing outdoing yourself every week, but you do a pretty good job of it. Thank you. Well, anyways, as you see it's there, cool. big... I hate to say it, but what's Belgium's national motto? Do you know? No. What the Belgian? A gateway to France. No comment. As you see there, big Paul Berlin and. Richie Stein there in the black shorts. Oh Lord, don't get me started on that. Oh, yeah. Well, that's his name, Paul Berlin and Richie Stein. I'm sure Richie Stein. Anyways, here comes the the XGWL Tag Team Champions, Trey Steele and Apollo. You know, the purple guy. Now I know who he reminds me of. Who? The purple dude from uh, Fat Albert. Oh, the dude with the soccer was here. <laughs> really? Yeah, really. That's a Kango hat. Uh, fine. You want me to go back to calling him the purple? Because I sure can. No, how about you don't? Yep. Yeah. Alright. We got the green ninja and the purple out here. I mean the green. Alright. Well, you see that Apollo with a new look. And using his technical abilities, as he is the Italian technician. I know. He tried to be the Italian stallion in Rocky Balboa, so uh, no way, buddy. And what a neck breaker there by Apollo. No comment. No, because it was so bad of a joke, it, it did not deserve any attention. Oh, You're too kind. Thank you. Anyways... As a nice headlock applied, and out. What a go behind into a wow! Nicely done there, with a side slam, and out. Another sleeper hold there by Apollo. So, so he's got a sleeper hold on. Uh, what'd you say his name was? P Paul Berlin. Berlin. And now Irish up to the corner, and now no, the I'm big man tagging saying. out, and Richie Stein about to come in and out. What a cross body there by Richie Stein. As he said, come but down. I told him, baby. No comment. Anyways, and now Apollo working on the arm. And what a takedown using that technical ability that's, that's far and superior than any other technical wrestler I've ever seen. You know, honestly, you know what's so funny about calling German? Or Germany. What? Every time you ask for help, you get nothing but gibberish. Oh, don't get me started with that stuff. And the tag there to the Trey Steele. The number two overall draft pick in the 2010 CAW draft. Irish Whip. Not only is he a number two, but he looks like a number two. Oh, you racist. Irish Whip. Putting him right there in the top rope. And now, what's Richie Stein gonna do? Oh wow! Vicious, ne vicious neckbreaker. And now, Trey and Steele. Once again, let me clear from this. We, I am not racist. I just, I'm stern on my opinion. Oh, what a tornado DDT there by Richie Stein. And now with a waist lock, and now playing a full Nelson. And Trey Steele just powering out of that. 
Submission hold. I mean, he's done a full Nelson, and totally the full Nelson joke doesn't work here. And now going for another full Nelson. And again, Trey Steele powering out of that submission hold. What a clothesline using that that six foot three, two hundred seventy pound body frame to his advantage into a side headlock takeover. You know what the purple and yellow stands for? What? He looks like he's uh he just came from L.A. No, because purple is from the Minnesota Vikings. You know the football team over there. Yeah, but I was talking about the L.A. Lakers. Well, they yeah, were originally from there. Minnesota, and what a hip toss there by Trey Steele. I don't know if you knew well, that or not. I'm just, just, I, I, yeah, I knew that, but I was just trying to make speculation. Uh huh. Now. And now, what a back suplex! I give him that it was a nice back suplex. I give him that. And now, Irish whip to the corner, gets the tag into Apollo, and oh man! Hey, look, it's a flying Apollo. I don't get it. And what a neck breaker! I tell you what, though, Apollo is known for one thing: getting people's pizzas there within 30 minutes or less. <laughs> Oh, really? Wow, what a lame joke again. What How a gut lame? wrench suplex. He told me once he delivered pizzas really fast, so I, I was just commenting on that. Pizzas were not invented in Italy. He's from Italy. Yeah, pizzas were. It's an Italian food. Get it right. No, it wasn't. Have you read the history of pizza? It was made here in, in New York City. Uh, I mean, for well, once, do some actual research, and not just. Where does Italian sausage come from? So that's, uh... <laughs> wow! And now the tag to Paul Berlin, and what a double team maneuver! The continuity of Team Deutschland—they are former two-time XGWL tag team champions. And what a drop kick there by Apollo! I mean, he has to use his body frame to his... And, you know, we're talking about pizzas in Italian. It has nothing to do with Apollo delivering pizzas. Apollo worked for a company in delivering pizzas. I don't know about that. Look at the straight there by Trey Steele into that... That fireman's carry slam. Able to pick up the 300-pound Paul Berlin. He was able to pick up the Berlin ball successfully. And a scoop slam there by Trey Steele. I mean, look how big Paul Berlin is. 6'11", 300 I mean, even. you can go ahead and call the per you can call Paul Berlin the Berlin wall because that's exactly what he is. Oh, well, well, I'm inclined to agree looking how big he is. Now the cover. Only a one count. I mean, that should be honestly his nickname. And now, another back suplex there by Trey Steele. And now, what's he going for here? Oh, what a drop kick right to the face of Paul Berlin. And now, Trey Steele pick. What's he going to go for here? Setting him up. Top of the shoulders. Into a wraparound sidewalk slam. And now, going to the top rope. And oh, you go. hitting the Minnesota Splash. And what the... That Are you kidding bad. me? Paul Berlin no sold it completely and and got up like if it was nothing. But luckily Trey Steele's there to to stay on him. And now going to the top rope. Hits him with that senton. And now Paul Berlin gained back up. Sending Trey Steele to the corner. Tag into Richie Stein and now. Again with that aided crossbody. Oh, and now, nice reversal. Nice job with the jawbreaker. And now Richie Stein gained back up. Irish rope to the ropes. He misses. Punch by Trey Steele now. You know, they actually, and you forgot to mention this, they actually hit the referee there. He kind of got knocked back a little bit. Well, referee's got to keep some more distance. Anyways. I agree. The tag into Apollo. Expensive. And out. 
a good double team maneuver. As we take you to some of the card in, on Peyton Fulham. I know Trey Steele and Apollo have a, a tough task against them. That's they're going to defend their tag team title against not only Team 619 but also Cash Money Inc. In a triple threat hardcore uh, tag team match. We still got the match going on. And now, oh, look at this. What a submission hold by Apollo. What kind of submission hold is that? Modified octopus stretch. And now oh, going with a. I haven't like seen that move done in a in a long time. That rings a Saturn move. Yeah, a guy with a mop once did that. And now, with a double underhook submission hold. And Apollo going all submission holds here. And now, oh, nice job with that side was that's that slam. And now, what's he going for here? And wait, what the? Let He's the, going for a bridge roll up pin. No, it's submission, sorry. But it's going for a pin. I mean, that was an impressive submission hold, but unable to, to maintain it. I agree with you. And now Apollo reverses. And now going for the abdominal stretch. And just really cranking in that submission hold. And and Richie Stein taps out, unable to to withstand the pain. I knew the Stein could handle it. And that was pretty much it as, as we take it to some of the highlights here. And, and look at the strength, the power there, that side that fireman's cherry slam. It pretty much in the way it should. And then Trey Seal with this wraparound sidewalk slam. Nicely done. And then he followed it up with his Minnesota splash. And should have ended the match, but Paul Berlin got up immediately afterwards and now we take you through some of this continuity here by the by the tag champs with that that drop told into an elbow but this is what finished the match this abdominal hold and Richie Stein unable to to withstand the pain and the tag team champ is able to to build some momentum for their match at, at Peyton Full as they have to defend against two tag teams in a triple threat hardcore match. Any comments? Uh, no comments over here. Well, anyways, let's take you to Lindsay Hammond as she's about to interview Sarah Warfield. Who's the dyke? I mean, oops. Hey, wait, what the? What the hell? Oh, great. How typical. Tammy attacking Sarah Warfield from behind. Yep, and she's wearing a fake championship. What? Anyway, you gotta take a commercial break.
Folks, we are back, and what happened earlier was very disgusting and ridiculous on, on what Tammy did. Yeah, yeah. Oh, we had to look at the dike backstage I'm in the interview. Oh, um, really? Did, did you have to go there? That was absolutely tasteless on your part. Speaking Thank of you. tasteless. But anyways, let's go to our next match as we're going to have here a champion versus champion match. Non-title. And I do use that word champion very, rather loosely on Tammy's part, but very strongly here well, for Sarah Well, honestly, Warfield. I had to ask you. Yeah. I'm not being serious here. I'm not joking. How can she wrestle after getting knocked out backstage? Because Sarah Warfield is a phenomenal athlete. Well, she may be that, but you know she's not at 100%. There ain't no way. Well, well I... I I rather take Sarah Warfield at 50% than, than than a lot of the women in the Big Fit in Stanford any time and day. I'm sure you would. That's not what I meant. I mean, I'm sure. I'm in an, in a wrestling match. Get your mind no, out of the gutter, why don't you? No comment. As you always say to me, no comment. Well, this should you be can a... try to explain yourself all you want, but we all know what you mean. That's what I thought you'd be quiet. Well, anyways, here comes Tammy, the XGWO Lady Pro Champion, and I do, and I yeah. and I do use that word champion rather loosely on. As far as Tammy goes. Rather loosely because that is a fake championship as we all know that. Exactly. But that championship will be will be defended at Pain Full and mm -hmm. and it will be an official title after the fact. After that title. The that is wins the match. <laughs> but what happened if she loses the, the the title to Solera Logan? Well, I don't know that I'm gonna be quiet in her interest. That's all I'm going to say. Well, let me guess. The best entrance in the world. Hey, you said that is. Stop drooling. Oh, well, I'm sorry. Give me a bucket next time and I'll quit. I just hope that if Solero Logan defeats Tammy for that lady pro title, I hope she pulls in uh, Alondra Blaze. The I'm sorry. What? I was trying to holler at you to clean the file. You racist. I'm not a janitor here. Anyway, then we get this match started. Collar and elbow. Into the arm bar now. Oh, what a... What a throw there by Sarah Warfield and... The much stronger Sarah Warfield against the... Very petite and... Vanessa Tammy and... What a bulldog. Did you just say... Wait, 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 wait. Here we go again. Did you just say petite? Did I hear petite come out of your mouth? Well, what do you mean? Good God, man. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. You were talking about the difference between food size. I heard you. You just tried to slip it in so nobody would notice. But I caught it. I didn't mean by that. I mean, look how, yeah. Look how, yeah, yeah. Look how skinny Tammy is with those uh, humongous... Yeah, you said petite. Now stop trying to cover up your tracks. Like you did earlier. Yeah. Er. And, and you are taking away from this match because you again you're taking your focus off of the match and and Sarah well, Warfield is Well excuse me, boobs man. Uh, anyway. And again just kicking the legs off from Sarah Warfield. I mean let's look at the tail of the tape here. It's Tammy about six foot two. The at least you said tail right. Oh yes, I know you're admiring the tail here because you well, wanted to. I mean, you like to always get a piece of the action. Because I know you wanted to, especially on Tammy, to shake her tail feather. I don't know if you know what that means. Yes, I know what it means, and you always like to get in there and get a piece of the action. And oh man, what a modified brainbuster there by Sarah Warfield. And now Tammy. So and now, always on the outside. As she always does. And as you always like her to. 
and she's and that always costs her a victory because she never. She said she's very petite at this thing. Well, I didn't mean it by like that. I mean, look how skinny she is, and what a flapjack there by Sarah Warfield because Tammy wasn't paying any attention there, and Sarah Warfield showcasing her technical ability. I mean, as strong as she is, Sarah Warfield is just as athletic. Can able to do a moonsault off the top rope as well. Oh, what a spear oh, there by I, Sarah Warfield! I, I tend to agree. And Tammy's on the outside again. And now trying to take the easy way out, trying to, with a cheap well, shot. I mean, she. I mean, I hate to say this, but she's absolutely on a losing streak here in XGWL. Yeah, for how long though? I don't know for how long, honestly, I couldn't tell you. Until she decides to learn to wrestle better. I don't really know. And just and Sarah Warfield just putting on a clinic right now. I mean there, are you happy I said something right? Yeah. I'll give you I'll give you your credit where it's due. And now Sarah Warfield Thanks. picking her up. And look at the strength here. Look, Tammy's trying to wiggle out but can't do it. Oh, what a vertical suplex. You know, she was just bench pressing Tammy. Trying to get her daily -like exercise. And there's Tammy again, strutting her stuff. Like always. And this is one thing that's one of my pet peeves. You're wasting your time on the outside time when you could be on the inside of the ring trying to win the match. Well, you have to tell that to Tammy because she doesn't listen too well. Well... Hector, I oh, mean, you wow. have to agree with me. She's not doing right. I mean, she's taunting the outside instead of trying to win the match. Well, that shows me that she doesn't care for you know anything but herself. Well, that's been her mo for a long time now. And now up and over with that suplex. And it's and you can say that's been her mo for like almost three years now. And well, look, she's. Always trying to sleep away to the top, so yeah, I mean, and, yes. look, and and now Sir Warfield about to put an end to this one with that golden axe. And as to where Sarah Warfield is actually working hard to win titles, and now the She's cover, not. and that's it. See that Tammy lost because her fear hurts by timing on the outside. I mean, that's fair just, enough, yeah, because. Like like we just saw right there as we go through some of the highlights, Tammy just keeping just taking away some of her focus and she paid the price with right. a flapjack and then And then also goes to show you that high heels don't necessarily make you a better wrestler. No. And as the showcase of strength there of Sarah Warfield as she's set to defend her title against three Actually, formidable opponents. You know, she should have the referee should allow us to bring that. Whoa. I mean, she could have probably rang some things into her. I doubt it. I completely doubt it because because Tammy's just so full of herself, and what a victory that well, was, Sir Warfield. Maybe, maybe Tony isn't spanking her enough. <laughs> hmm. You may have a point there. Don't I always? But anyways. What a victory there by Sarah Wilson. So, uh, let me ask you something. Between Sarah Warfield's boobs and Tammy's boobs, which do you like better? Well, Tammy's boobs are a lot bigger. Well, I mean, you, a second ago you called her petite anyway. Well, Lindsay Hammond interviewing now Brandon Thomas. Die! Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, wow. As we take you through to the last episode of Charged, Has it, been a, has it been that long, honestly? Uh, just saying. Oh, wait, roll up! The cover! The cover! One, two, and, and three! What the? Really?
Well, congrats again to Brandon Thomas for winning the PR title.